art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Mono White Control and Glissa Grave. I started on the play for this game by laying down a Swamp and then playing a Nihil Spellbomb. Noah then laid down a Plains and passed. I then laid down a Woodland Cemetery and put a Ratchet Bomb into play. Noah then just played an Island and passed again, so at the end of his turn I added a counter to my Ratchet Bomb. Then for my turn, I played a Silvok Replica. Noah then played a Pristine Talisman on his next turn, then I laid down a Buried Ruin and attacked with my Replica. Noah took one, but gained one from his talisman, so broke even. Then post-combat, I played a Perilous Mirror. Noah drew a Terminus on his next turn and played it for his miracle cost, so before it resolved, I sacrificed my replica to destroy his talisman. He gained one life first, and then I sent my mirror to the bottom of the library. Noah then used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of my Ratchet Bomb. At the end of the turn, I sacrificed my Spell Bomb, exiling Noah's graveyard, and drew a card. I then laid down an Evolving Wilds and then played a second Spell Bomb. Noah laid down a Ghost Quarter and then played another Pristine Talisman. Then I just played Land Go for my turn, so at the end of the turn Noah gained another life. Noah then laid down another Ghost Quarter and played yet another Talisman, going up to 23. Then at the end of this turn I sacrificed my Evolving Wilds to search for an island. I then played a Worm Coil Engine on my turn and then Noah gained another life with his Talisman. He then went to 25, playing a Phyrexian Metamorph to copy my Worm Coil Engine. Then he got rid of my Worm Coil with another Oblivion Ring. I sacrificed my Buried Ruin on my turn to get my replica back and then replayed it. Noah laid down a Haunted Fingraph on his turn and then attacked with his Worm Coil copy. I decided to just take it this time, going down to 14 and bringing him up to 32. Then post combat, Noah gained another 2 life, playing a Batter Skull. I then laid down my first forest on my turn and then played a Garrick Relentless and made myself a Wolf Token. Noah attacked with his two creatures on his turn, so I chose to block his Metamorph with my Wolf and his Germ Token with my replica. Then before combat damage, I sacrificed my replica to destroy his Oblivion Ring and get my Worm Coil engine back. Then combat damage killed my wolf and brought Noah up to 40. Noah laid down another Ghost Quarter and then at the end of his turn, I sacrificed my other Spell Bomb to draw another card. I then made another Wolf Token on my turn and then used a Deadly Allure to force blocks my Worm Coil. So Noah blocked with his Germ, however before damage, he gained two more life, returning his Batter Skull to his hand. Noah attacked with his Metamorph again, so I just Chump Blocked it with my Wolf, bringing him up to 48. In post-combat, he went up to 50 to replay his Batter Skull. I just made another Wolf Token on my turn, and then Noah attacked with both his creatures again, so I Chump Blocked the Metamorph with my Wolf again and blocked his Germ with my Worm Coil. This brought me up to 20 and him up to 60. Noah then gained two more life, playing a Day of Judgment and wiped the board. He then played a Worm Coil Engine of his own. I played a Solemn Simulacrum on my next turn and searched for another forest. I then used a Sever the Bloodline to get rid of Noah's Worm Coil Engine, then made myself another Wolf with Garrick. Noah gained two more life on his turn, sacrificing his Haunted Fingraph and returning his Metamorph to his hand. He then replayed the Metamorph and copied his Batter Skull. On my turn, I made myself another Wolf Token and then played a Phyrexian Metamorph of my own to copy one of Noah's Batter Skulls. Noah played a Restoration Angel on his turn but chose not to exile anything. He then gained two more life going to 66 in order to equip his Batter Skull to the Angel. I flashed back my Sever the Bloodline from my graveyard on my turn to get rid of Noah's Angel. I then used my Garrick to kill one of my own wolf tokens, forcing him to flip and turn into Garrick the Velcursed. Noah laid down a Phyrexia's Core on his next turn. He then went to 68 to equip his Batter Skull to his Death Touch token and then attacked with it. I just chose to block with my Death Touch token so they both died and Noah gained 7 life going up to 75. I then used my Garrick to make myself a Death Touch Wolf on my turn. I then attacked with my Germ so Noah blocked with his Germ, however he returned his Batter Skull to his hand before damage. I then played another Solemn Simulacrum and searched for another forest. Noah then played an Elish Norm Grand Cenobite on his turn and wiped most of my board including my two Solemns so I got to draw two cards. He then attacked with his now 5-5 Lifelink token so I chump blocked it with my token bringing Noah up to 82 and me up to 21. I played a Gliss of the Traitor on my next turn and then flashed back my Deadly Allure targeting my Germ. I then attacked with my Germ so Noah had to block it with his Norn killing them both and gaining me two life going up to 23. When his Norn died, I returned my replica from my graveyard to my hand. I made another wolf with Garrick and then replayed my replica. Then I sacrificed it to destroy Noah's other Oblivion Ring and get my Ratchet Bomb back. Then I played a Mortar Pod, equipped my Death Touch Wolf to it, and threw it at Noah's Worm Token. However, when it died, I forgot to use Gliss's trigger to return an artifact. 
Noah went up to 84 on his turn, replaying his batter skull, and then replayed his metamorph again, copying the batter skull. I then made another death touch token on my turn and used my mortar pod to throw it at one of his germs, killing it, and returning my replica to my hand again. I then replayed the replica and sacrificed it to destroy Noah's batter skull. Then I equipped my batter skull copy to my glissa and attacked, so Noah just chump blocked it and I gained 7 more life, going up to 30. Unfortunately at this point we had run out of time so we weren't able to finish the game. So that'll be it for this match, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.